Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Killer McKnight and I am seven days late to Metal Kingdom. Disappointed in that, if I do say so myself. Um, I've been pretty good on top of their new album uh, releases as of late. Um, we did Divine Attack and Monochrome, sick song. Uh, Divine Attack reached 2 million views on YouTube, which is amazing because I think when I started... When I listened to that song, it was only at like 100K views. So like, awesome, 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 awesome. Um, I want to give a little shout out, and I'm not going to use their full names here, but a little shout out to Jake and Grington. Um, I hope I'm saying that correctly, Gring. I'm sorry if I'm not, but these two guys are awesome. They comment on all my baby metal videos and have left really insightful comments you know what fascinates me so much about baby metal is there is all this lore and this like fantasy world that they've created and it's just it's like playing an awesome jrpg right and i love that like mel kingdom is as as a place you guys it's a place so it it just is awesome and those guys have really helped out you know flesh out that lore for me, you know, explain a lot of things, give me great recommendations to move forward to. Um, so thank you guys. Thank you. And there's also uh baby Mel reaction videos, Reddit that I think they run. So kudos for trying to get, you know, baby Mel fans together, trying to get the word of baby Mel out to as many people. I think you guys are doing an exceptional job. It's a lot of fun. But anyways, with that being said, you guys, Metal Kingdom, a little late to this party, a little upset about that, been very busy, haven't really recorded any new uh, stuff in the past week. I've been sick. The excuses go on, boys. But anyways, today, we're going to check out Metal Kingdom. I'm really excited for this one, so let's go. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Let me move my camera up a little bit. There we go. All right. Let's press play. Listen to that opener. My dog in the pit brain. I was checking to see if they had closed captions on or not. Man, I want to listen to that back. Sue's voice when she hit that note was amazing. Listen to this. Ikiru? Oh, I 
love the chanting. Hold on, something I really loved. I loved, 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 loved this. Hold on, let me see if I can get it pinpointed. All right. Sue singing, and it's like background. I don't even know how they did this production wise. I don't, I don't understand it, but it's basically like background singing and then boom, like without a skip of a beat. I don't know how this happened. Right here. Right here. It sounds like background music. Oh. really good you guys Raise your hand to the Lord. Raise your sword to the sky. Just because I'm selfish, you guys. Hold on. God, so good. The bass drops, man.
Oh, man. I'm going to let it play out. Let's see. Nope. You guys, that was phenomenal. You know what? It's, it's such a majestic song, too. Like, you can definitely tell they're they're talking about a kingdom or they're singing about a kingdom. It's just so majestic. And the chanting really kind of uplifts it. Now, I'm curious as to, like, the track list to this album because I know from what I've been gathering from, you know, just my time with Baby Mel, I know that their albums kind of have a story that goes along and, like, each song is placed perfectly to, like, facilitate a story. So I'm wondering where, like, Monochrome... Um, Divine Attack and Metal Kingdom kind of line up. You know, like, is this, like, one of their first songs off the album where it's kind of talking about the Metal Kingdom? Like, we're entering in the Metal Kingdom, and this is... I don't know. You guys have to explain that to me. My goal by the end of this year, because I really, I really want to take more time with Baby Mel... I want to learn all the lore as much as possible. Like I want to be educated on it, right? Like I want to be able to speak about it. And that's like, cause I think the story is so fascinating and I think their songs are just incredible. Um, I also really thought that this song was a lighter, more uplifting song than, than maybe divine attack, right? Like I know when divine attack came out, we were all talking about like, how darker tones it is, like how just darker it felt and how heavier it was. I know that they're kind of going more heavier and more metal than, you know, the J-pop baby metal, but I, I'm digging it so far. This is like, this is my jam, you guys. I, I really enjoy this. So leave down in the comments what you guys thought about Mel Kingdom. Can you imagine this song live? Like, with the crowd chanting, are you kidding? Like, this is going to be a fan favorite live. I guarantee it. They're going to open up sets with this song. I swear. Like, they have to. Oh, they have to. With the chanting, with all the opportunities. Like, you listen to the song, you have all the opportunities for, like, fan crowd chants. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be incredible, you guys. I can't wait till we start seeing you know, live show videos coming out. But anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this was Baby Mel, Mel Kingdom. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. We'll see you next time. Bye.